Stop the pain. Discover the five shocking causes of feet arthritis today. Have you ever thought about how challenging life would be if you struggled with something extremely simple like a walk in the park or even having to get out of bed because of severe leg pain? This is the daily reality for many people facing arthritis in their feet, which affects the ability to perform everyday tasks that we often take for granted. Did you know that more than 24% of Americans have arthritis, with a significant portion experiencing this painful condition of the feet? According to the Arthritis Foundation, millions of people suffer from this debilitating disease, which can lead to serious mobility problems and, in severe cases, even the loss of the foot. That's why today we're going to dive into the five main causes of arthritis in the feet. Whether it's due to lifestyle factors, genetics, or an underlying health condition, knowing the root cause can help you take steps to prevent or control this painful problem. If you're interested in keeping you and your loved one's feet healthy and pain-free from arthritis, this video is for you. Let's start with the first potential cause of this problem. 1. Obesity Obesity is a condition in which the body has an excessive amount of fat, often measured by BMI, body mass index. When a person's BMI exceeds 30, he or she is considered obese. The main scientific cause of obesity is energy imbalance, that is, the amount of calories consumed from food exceeds the amount of calories consumed through daily activities and exercise. In particular, being overweight creates great pressure on the joints, especially the foot joints, increasing the risk of foot arthritis. For example, a person weighing 200 pounds, about 90 kilograms, will put four times more pressure on their legs than their body weight when walking, increasing the risk of arthritis, which is very dangerous, right? Obesity has a strong impact on the body's joints because excess fat is not only an energy storage substance but also acts as an endocrine organ, secreting inflammatory cytokines. This creates a vicious cycle where arthritis can reduce mobility, leading to additional weight gain which in turn worsens the arthritis. Besides, obesity also changes the body's movement mechanism, causing uneven stress on the joints. As your body weight increases, the way you move, stand and even sit will change, causing uneven pressure on the joints of your feet. Not only does this increase the risk of arthritis, but it can also cause other problems such as tendonitis and muscle pain. If you are being treated for arthritis, obesity can also reduce the effectiveness of arthritis treatments. For example, pain medications may not work as well in obese people due to changes in the way the body absorbs and metabolizes the drugs. Furthermore, Joint replacement surgery in obese people also has many risks and is often less effective than in people of normal weight. To reduce the impact of obesity on foot arthritis, some tips especially focus on proper diet and exercise. Lose weight the right way, losing weight slowly and sustainably helps reduce pressure on joints. One study shows that losing 10% of body weight can reduce the risk of arthritis by up to 50%. This means that if you weigh 200 pounds, losing 20 pounds can have a huge impact on your joint health. If you want to apply weight loss methods to your diet, increase anti-inflammatory substances in your regimen. Eating omega-3 from salmon, about 1.8 g of omega-3 per 100 g of salmon, is very effective in reducing inflammation. Additionally, turmeric supplements, which contain curcumin, also help reduce inflammation. Coming to the next part. Have you ever thought about choosing the right shoe size to reduce the risk of foot arthritis? How can wearing the wrong shoe size affect your foot joints? 2. Wearing inappropriate shoes Many people often close their eyes to this serious problem because no one will think about how wearing the wrong shoes will affect their feet. The scientific reason for this is uneven pressure on the joints and bones of the foot and this point is especially dangerous because few people know that it can cause arthritis of the foot. When shoes don't fit properly or lack support, the muscles and ligaments in your feet have to work harder, leading to strain and inflammation. A typical example is when you wear shoes that are too tight, it can put pressure on the toes and increase the risk of bunion arthritis by three times compared to wearing shoes that fit properly. Similarly, shoes without heel support can cause plantar fasciitis, a painful condition in the heel. Shoes that are the wrong size can also lead to the development of lumps and calluses on your feet. These calluses not only cause pain but also deform the feet over time, creating uneven body weight distribution when walking. 
This can increase the risk of arthritis in other areas of the body such as the knees and hips due to changes in gait that put pressure on those two areas. One study found that 80% of people with foot arthritis also had back pain. For older adults especially, altering gait to compensate for ill-fitting shoes can increase the risk of falls and serious injuries. Another problem that wearing shoes that are the wrong size causes is that it can reduce blood circulation, causing circulatory problems and increasing the risk of foot ulcers. This is especially important for older people, as they are more vulnerable to poor blood circulation. Another study found that wearing shoes that are too tight can reduce blood circulation to the feet by up to 30%, leading to numbness and cold feet. Additionally, wearing inappropriate shoes can also cause skin problems such as contact dermatitis, a condition that causes itching and rashes due to skin contact with unfriendly materials. To improve this condition, choose shoes with soft soles and good support for the soles of your feet. Using special shoe insoles can reduce pressure on joints. Choose shoes that are the right size and avoid heels that are too high. A good tip that few people know is to change shoes regularly, especially when you feel the shoes no longer provide good support. For example, a pair of running shoes should be replaced after you have used them for about 300 to 500 miles. For office workers, office shoes should also be replaced after about a year of use to ensure that the shoe sole still provides good support. Additionally, exercising and stretching your calf muscles also helps reduce pressure on your feet and prevent arthritis. Exercises such as heel raises, calf stretches and gentle walking can improve blood circulation and strengthen the muscles around the joints. This not only helps reduce pain but also enhances the joint's resistance to external impacts. Another tip is to check your shoe size regularly. Our feet can change size over time due to many factors such as weight gain, pregnancy, or health problems. So measure your feet at least once a year and buy shoes in the afternoon when your feet are at their largest size. Next, did you know that another common cause of foot arthritis involves a number of external factors, including infection? 3. Infection. Infection is a condition when bacteria or viruses enter the body and cause an inflammatory response. A little-known scientific cause is that streptococcal infection in the foot joints can lead to arthritis. When bacteria enter the joints, they stimulate an inflammatory response, damaging joint tissues and causing pain. Unlike other types of arthritis, infectious arthritis can lead to serious complications if not treated promptly. For example, if not treated early, a strep infection can cause permanent damage to the foot joints and loss of mobility. There are many things about infections that few people know. One of the special facts is that the infection can spread very quickly through the blood and cause other serious health problems such as sepsis. Additionally, people with weak immune systems or chronic diseases such as diabetes are at higher risk for joint infections. For example, one study found that people with diabetes were twice as likely to have joint infections as those without the condition. Nutrients such as vitamin C, 90 mg in one orange, and zinc, 2.9 mg in 100 g beef, can help strengthen the immune system and reduce the risk of infection. To prevent joint infections, there are some little-known tips and advice you can apply. First, ensure good personal hygiene especially washing your hands regularly to prevent bacteria from entering the body. Second, maintain a balanced diet and supplement foods rich in vitamins and minerals such as garlic, which provides allicin, citrus fruits, which are rich in vitamin C, and yogurt, which contains probiotics. Third, if you have an injury or open wound in the foot area, clean and bandage the wound properly to avoid infection. Another tip that few people know is that maintaining enough water in the body is also very important. Drinking enough water helps maintain fluid balance in the body, supports the immune system and helps the body eliminate toxins and prevent infections. Moving on to the next section, did you know metabolic disease is also a cause of arthritis in the feet? Let's find out. 4. Metabolic disease. What is metabolic disease? It is a group of disorders such as diabetes, gout and other metabolic disorders that can cause many health problems, including arthritis of the feet. One of the most unique features of metabolic disease is that it not only affects blood sugar or uric acid levels in the body, but can also increase the risk of foot arthritis. Few people know that diabetes can lead to nerve damage and poor circulation, causing arthritis in the feet. For example, 
One study found that 30% of people with diabetes also had foot arthritis, much higher than people without the disease. Metabolic disease is not just a problem of blood sugar or uric acid but is also related to many different factors. For example, the accumulation of advanced glycation products, AGEs, in the body due to high blood glucose levels can cause tissue damage and inflammation. Furthermore, people with gout often have high uric acid levels, leading to the formation of urate crystals in the joints, causing inflammation and pain. An interesting little-known fact is that low vitamin D levels can make foot arthritis worse. For example, a 100g serving of salmon provides about 526 IU of vitamin D, which is great to supplement the body and support bone and joint health. To reduce your risk and improve your foot arthritis caused by metabolic disease, try these tips be more mindful of blood sugar control. Maintaining stable blood sugar levels helps reduce the risk of nerve damage and poor circulation. In addition, during meals, try to add a lot of fiber, such as one cup of oats providing 4G of fiber, helping to control blood sugar effectively. Finally, make sure you get enough vitamin D. Make sure your body gets enough vitamin D by eating foods rich in vitamin D or spending about 15 minutes in the sun every day. Yogurt is also a good source of vitamin D, with one cup providing about 80 IU of vitamin D. These tips not only help reduce arthritis symptoms but also support overall health, unlike conventional tips. So we have gone through four extremely painful causes in this problem, can you guess what the final problem is? 5. Muscle imbalance Muscle imbalance is a condition when the muscle groups around a joint do not work evenly, leading to uneven pressure and possible arthritis. The scientific cause of this phenomenon is due to the lack of synchronization in the development and activity of muscle groups, especially in the feet. A special point that few people know is that muscle imbalance in the feet can lead to foot arthritis. For example, if the muscles in the front of the leg are stronger than the muscles in the back, this uneven pressure can cause arthritis. One study found that 30% of people had foot arthritis related to muscle imbalance. Muscle imbalances not only affect the joints, but can also impact the circulatory system and nerves in the feet. A Stanford University study showed that people with muscle imbalances in their feet are susceptible to numbness and reduced sensation in their toes. Few people know that this condition can also increase the risk of nighttime cramps. Furthermore, muscle imbalances can affect walking posture and lead to other problems such as back and hip pain. For example, People with muscle imbalances may use improper force when walking, causing uneven pressure on the knee and hip joints. In a 2019 study, scientists found that about 25% of people with foot arthritis also had circulation problems. To improve muscle imbalances, you can apply some of the following tips and advice. First, try doing muscle strengthening exercises on both sides of the foot, such as toe and heel raises 10 times a day. Additionally, Use shoes with good cushioning and arch support to help distribute force more evenly when walking. A little-known tip is that daily foot massage can help relax muscles and improve circulation. Studies also show that magnesium supplementation can help reduce cramps and improve muscle function. For example, one banana contains about 32 mg of magnesium, which helps replenish this important nutrient. Try incorporating yoga exercises that focus on your legs and feet to increase flexibility and balance. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot and helps us bring more valuable content to you. In summary, ignoring the signs and causes of foot arthritis can lead to severe and irreversible damage. The simple and easy to follow advice provided in this video can help you avoid pain and maintain healthy feet. It's your choice, follow these tips to prevent arthritis, or face the risk of debilitating pain that even doctors may struggle to treat. The consequences of neglect are serious, so take action now to protect your health. The advice shared in this video is not just practical but also easy to implement. Small changes in your daily routine can have a big impact on your foot health. By incorporating these tips, you can reduce the risk of arthritis and improve your overall well-being. Remember, it's up to you. Choose to follow these simple tips and enjoy a life free from foot arthritis, or risk facing severe pain that may become untreatable. The decision is yours, but the consequences of inaction are dire. While you wait for our next video, 
here are four more that you might find helpful. Check them out on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching until the end. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in our next video. Stay healthy and take care.